So I just wanted to give, so I just wanted to give, so I just wanted to give a quick review on my first ride with the new bag and the bike rack. I'll start off with the cons because it's the first thing I really noticed when getting on the bike was the weight. Like I didn't, like I knew it was heavier and I didn't weigh it last night. I'm gonna throw it on the scale to see how much more weight it added. So my bike was about 23 pounds without the bag and without the rack and the fenders so we'll see i'm guessing probably 27 pounds i'll guess 27 pounds yeah but straight away the first thing i noticed was the weight much heavier um like from the start right so you got to put a much harder effort to get going but once you get going i did find that it was a much smoother ride and the weight really helped keep your momentum going forward so even when i stopped pedaling i felt like the momentum was keeping me going much better than without it. So I thought that was interesting. So the weight, definitely a lot heavier. And with the weight, it also made the steering pretty twitchy. So like at low speeds, um, you kind of have to be careful for the uneven weight. So right now the way I have it is I only have one of the bags open and this has my clothes. So once a month, while I'm on call for work, I'll put my laptop on the other side. But right now, I've got my lunch in the middle, but I'm just using the one side. And I have the weight on my left side, so that's my non-drive side, to at least help balance some of the weight. But what that does is really pulls the bike that direction. So like I did feel like when I came to a stop, I wanted to lean more to the left. Um, so that was interesting. And then at high speeds too, I really didn't find it the steering that bad, but I could definitely tell it was a little different. And maybe not bad, but a little different. Um, so yeah, the weight, um, the steering, and then I don't know. Maybe it's just the sharp turns, but I kept hitting my toe on the fender. So I have the fenders on there pretty tight. I mean, there's not a whole lot a gap there. I could bring it in a tiny bit. But I did find that I hit my toe a couple times on, on the turns. Maybe I'll just have to watch it or maybe I'll bring the fender in. I'm going to give it a little bit before I do the final tweaks. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Um, so that was really it. I mean, the weight was really shocking. I didn't think it would affect me that much. Um, so that was a big hitter. But definitely, so now the pros. So the pros is I'm able to get a much better aero position. So because I don't have the backpack, which was I was, which 
what I was using, which I had my lunch in it and my clothes, I'd find that leaning so far forward, the backpack would want to fall forward, but also that it was just so much weight on my shoulder blades that it was a lot more uncomfortable. Um, so I did end up staying in a more upright position um, just if I'm cruising. Whereas now, because I don't have the backpack, I can really get down low and really get into the bike. And I felt like it, when I was able to get up to speed, I wasn't losing any speed. Like I, I wasn't going any slower with the bag and rack versus just a backpack because I was able to lean so much further. So that was a huge plus. And then obviously the not having the back pain. So like my shoulders would hurt, um, like with the laptop in it. If I didn't have my laptop, if it was just the lunch box, if it was just my lunchbox and my clothes, I didn't mind wearing the backpack. I mean, it was comfortable, but not having a backpack is so much more enjoyable. And also too is I can turn better. So the backpack, the straps, and the backpack itself it was kind of limiting. So I couldn't get a full rotation on the neck to look all the way behind me. Well, obviously now with no backpack, I can get a much better view of cars behind me when I've got across several lanes. So if I'm in the bike lane on our side all the way to the right and have to make a left turn, the left lane is in the middle, so I have to cross all, all the traffic. So that's that can be difficult sometimes when there's a lot of traffic going. Um, so that was definitely uh, a, pl a plus, not having the backpack. Um, Another, let's see, what was another pro observation? I guess I'm not, I don't have to stuff things in my bag. So I have a really nice 20 liter Osprey bag. But what I found is that even with my lunchbox and clothes, I was always have to stuff it to capacity. So the seams would come, the seams would come undone. So I'd have to sew them up every so often just because I had to cram everything in. Well, right now, I've got just clothes in here, but I've got my normal clothes I wear to work, I've got my workout clothes, and I still have plenty of room in here. There's plenty of room. I don't feel like it's strapped. There's plenty of wiggle room. And the lunchbox goes right in, right in here. So I open up the wedge, I can fit my wallet, my phone, and then my whole lunchbox fits right in there. And then I've got my rear light on the back and then I still have the whole second bag to use. And that'll just be for my laptop. <laughs> All right, so we'll, we'll wrap it up. But yeah, the lady was just saying she has MS, so she has a hard time getting around. So she's got basically a tricycle, three-wheeled bike. So I gave her business cards. She said she always has to have a friend pick up her bike, take it to a bike shop, so hopefully we can help her out. All right, well, I'm ready for dinner. Let's get home. Right safe. All right, I made it back home. I wanted to get out of there. There was a lot of people showing up. Lady playing with her dog. That was another guy setting up cones. Looked like he had a soccer practice going. But yeah, overall, I'm still gonna keep the, the rack and bag. We'll see how it goes. I think not having the backpack on is much more enjoyable than the weight that this adds. And like I said, once I get up to, once I get up to speed, I feel like the extra weight helps keep you going. So that's really nice. I don't think it's too much of a hindrance just when you're stopping and starting. So what I've had to do to combat that is just knock it down a couple gears. This way on the start, it's an easy gear, get it pulling, and then you can get up to speed real fast. I didn't find that with the fenders, my wheel wasn't flexing enough to cause any rubbing. So I'm able to put some pretty good power through. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the setup. I'm definitely going to keep it. I'd still like a proper road bike. I want some sort of carbon bike. Um, right now, this is my only real, my only real bike, uh, and it's aluminum. So once I get a proper bike, I might go here and there, right into work with the road bike, and then throw on a backpack on the days I don't take a laptop. Because, um, like I said, I, I don't mind the the backpack when it's just my clothes and my lunch. Um, but the laptop is just a killer. So, yeah, we'll keep giving updates. Like I said, this was just the first day uh, riding with it on. So we'll see if anything changes the durability on some of these things, the fenders, see if they stay in place, uh, the bag. 
we'll see how whole how well the zippers and stuff hold up they're all they're all decent brands so let's see if see if the money's worth it all right hope you enjoyed the ride right safe I'm in the bathroom and let's weigh this bike to see how much weight it added. It weighed about 23 pounds before the fenders, the rack, and the bag. So I'm going to leave my lights on and the GoPro mount, the pump, uh, and the water bottle cages. All that can stay. We're just getting a rough guess. My guess for the bike was 27 pounds. What do we got? So I weigh 178. Now let's grab the bike. Two oh six. So two oh six. Two oh six minus one seventy eight. That is 28 pounds. I was pretty close. I guess 27, the weight's 28. It feels much heavier with the clothes and lunchbox in it than what you would think with all the gear on it. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna put this back and enjoy the rest of my evening. Hope you guys get out of it. Chippy? No! Right side.